You see, this is the real test. The world looks on. People who do not believe the Bible, who do not understand that Jesus is a risen king, they look on, and we're tempted to say, if we can only show them, you know, this amazing triumph that is ours to, uh, to enjoy, then they will be impressed with that. They may or may not be, but I'll tell you what will impress them is when, in the experience of our own deep-seated despondency that doesn't seem to be mitigated by time, that doesn't seem to be altering as we progress, that we are able, still in that situation, to discover that God is teaching us now to trust Him, not with the lights on, but with the lights off. We need also to recognize that only ultimately in the new heaven and in the new earth will these storms of life be finally stilled. And that, then, is a matter of trusting God, trusting that our Father is wise. When He doesn't give us something, it's because He knows it's better for us not to have it. When He entrusts us with something that is hard to accept. It remains because he is able to look upon us and give to us the privilege of bearing testimony in that circumstance to the reality of his grace. And it is an opportunity for us to remind ourselves that as with David, so with us, that it's God's Word that is the anchor for our souls. The illustration is that as a boy in Scotland, uh, we would go camping with a, a youth organization. And on one occasion, we were camping up in the north uh, east of uh, Scotland. And uh, we went on a day trip, leaving our tented village behind. We went on a day trip to Inverness. And while in Inverness, the weather deteriorated significantly as it can, and significant winds blew through, so that by the time we arrived back at the campsite, a number of the tents had been, blo had been blown away, some of them actually over the edge of the cliff. Because the tents that blew away had not been fastened into solid ground. Therefore, the call is to say, Lord Jesus Christ, help me now to have the tent pegs of my life fastened entirely into my confidence in you, so that in life and in death, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, that I might be able to bear testimony to these things. Help me when I'm in need of this consolation. Help me not to just be a nuisance to everyone around me, but to cry out to you. And come and meet with me, so that I may be found trusting and rejoicing and singing.